Hey guys, here on this side again. And uh, the main purpose of this session, conclusions are going to be by end of this session, because uh, some misconceptions will be uh, cleared. Kind of some students feel that short circuit should be equivalent to current source. No, it is equivalent to voltage source. And open circuit is related to or equivalent to current source. Okay, why you will get to know the clarity. And second thing is while applying superposition. Why we deactivate independent sources only? Why we don't deactivate dependent sources? And the third thing is, why killing or while deactivating these uh, independent sources, voltage source will be killed uh, or voltage source will be killed and replaced with short circuit world. And current source will be killed or kind of deactivated and replaced with open circuit. Why also you will come to know. Anyway, before going any further, let me share details about myself. I'm Dan Rao. And I got, uh, I completed 20 years by gate 2021, 20 plus years of teaching experience and I worked in more prominent institutes only of India for a very longer period. And uh, subjects, I'm planning to take machines and uh, networks and very soon I'm going to start or I'm going to plan power systems also. Okay. Now, not only uh, you need motivation, faculty is also need motivation, right? So, like to the channel or like to the video, subscribe to the channel, share to your friends. And if you want to make me more responsible towards your preparation, use my code such that directly you can get them, get my personal guidance and all. Now coming to here, in an academy, there are two kinds of platforms, paid platforms. One is plus and another one is iconic. In plus, you are going to get live classes, crash courses, rank improvement, uh, rank improvement badges, week leaders, doubt solving, everything will be there. And uh, this plus is a subset. And in iconic subscription, whatever you are going to get with the uh, plus subscription, along with that, you are going to get personal coach. Okay. Of your age, who is an achiever, who can continuously motivate you, who can plan your study, and uh, who can analyze, personalized test analysis, critical test analysis, such that you will come to know where you are weak and all. Okay. And preparation study material also you are going to get. And if you think of plus subscription, Plus subscription for 12 months, if you use my code KMR10, 10% discount, how you will get obviously. This is going to be 27,225. And if you want to take it for uh, 18 months, one and a half year, it is going to be 34,650. And if you want to go for 24 months, it is going to be 39,600. And if you want to go for plus subscription, by using my code KMR10, 40,500 for 12 months and 54,000 for 24 months. Now they thought of increasing the fee structure from July 1st onwards, but they postponed that uh, after getting the huge demand say, saying that fees has to be maintained same. Very soon they may increase the fee structure. If you want to subscribe, subscribe soon. And the lecture batch, Arohan batch, there are two kinds of uh, batches here going on. One is uh, lecture is meant for GATE uh, RESC 2022 and uh, Arohan is meant for 23. And in electrical, Aditya Kanwal sir is going to start uh, control systems, okay. Anyway, if you see all uh, prominent faculties, all are very good, India's best faculties. Angit Goyal sir, Aditya Kanwal sir, Suresh sir, Vishal Soni, Bhim Shankar, Vishnu sir, Varun Srivastava sir, all are like, very prominent faculties. And they are going to train you, they are going to teach you. And batch is about to start from 7th July. And for uh, EC, Again, obviously, all are very good, best faculties. And there are kind of, this is uh, meant for test series. Some test series, they are going to provide free. And some test series, only for paid platform, kind of accelerate Excel and all. Now, if you see this coming Sunday, 11th July, okay. 11th July, every week combat will be there. But on 11th July, upcoming Sunday, the combat is going to be huge for four posts. Very big. And the top three guys are going to get free subscription uh, for Gator ESC for one year. And uh, maybe remaining guys are going to get some 75% scholarship or 50% scholarship, something like that. And you are going to get maybe around 500 members are going to get subscribe gifts. Okay. Then this is my channel, this is my profile in an academy platform. Just to follow me such that whenever I come to special class or uh, plus class, you will get notifications. Yeah, coming to the concept here. In our previous session, we discussed all this. Okay, let me erase this. Good. 
just a minute guys okay it's fine okay I mean, in our previous session we have done up to here now let us see let us think of voltage source okay now if i think of voltage source maybe ideal voltage source independent voltage source as of now we may not know actually we didn't all of us know but we did not discuss ohms law kind of stuff gradually we will discuss okay but i'm going i'm about to connect with some resistance and all such that some dots can be connected to KCL, KVL or mesh nodal analysis because ultimately in network theory and network analysis in the exam whether to use mesh or nodal which is beneficial to use if you can conclude within seconds obviously uh, you can get the answer in very shortest period possible okay now let us think of this as 10 volt source 10 volt source ideal independent voltage source ideal independent voltage source independent voltage source now for this let me connect maybe a resistance resistance of value 10 ohm 10 ohm okay then how much current would flow ohms law we all know that so 10 divided by 10 1 ampere current will flow because from here i'm going to connect to short circuit and all now if i think of Connecting a resistor means I am going to remove this 10 ohms and I am going to connect, for example, 2 ohms resistors for the same voltage source. For the same voltage source, then how much current will flow? 10 divided by 2, 5 amperes current will flow. 5 amperes current will flow. Now, if you observe here at the voltage source, voltage is it varying? No? Voltage is constant, and uh, let me think of this particular 10 volts voltage source is dc voltage source ideal dc independent voltage source okay now if i think of this way okay just to focus on this particular voltage source for a voltage source voltage is known how much is that voltage 10 volts voltage rise from here to here for example if i say this is terminal x this is terminal y if you go from y to x y to x it's going to be voltage rise minus 2 plus voltage rise voltage is known all the time but if you think of current, current will be decided that by the connected system. If you connect this particular system, connected system, 1 ampere it will go through the source. And if you remove this and if you connect this system, 5 amperes will go. Okay. Just to focus here, for a voltage source, voltage is known. But current is unknown. That particular current will be decided by the connected system. Connected system. Okay. Now, see here, for a voltage source, Voltage is known. Voltage is known. Current is unknown. Current is unknown. Why? It will be decided by the connected system until and unless you know the connected system, you cannot decide the current flowing through a voltage source. Now, if you see here, maybe in future we are going to enter into already KVL kind of introduction we have given. Okay, voltage rises equal to voltage drops or uh, kind of uh, energy expended equal to energy delivered. Okay, anyway, for a voltage source, if I apply KVL, okay, if I apply KVL, let me do that only. If I apply KVL from here to here, if I see voltage rise of 10 volts is known. But if I think of applying KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's current law in the sense currents entering at a particular node equal to currents leaving at a particular node, already you know, I know, leave it. Okay, of course, at later point of time, we are going to discuss again KVL KCL also. Okay, but for time being, we know. For example, if you want to apply KCL at this particular node without knowing the system, without knowing the system, that system can be black or blue. Okay, now without knowing the system, if you want to apply KCL here, how to apply? I don't know. Because current flowing through voltage source can be of any value. It can be 1 amperes also, it can be 5 amperes also, depending upon the resistance or loading effect on that particular voltage source it can go thousands of amperes also it can go to micro amperes also so that all will be decided by the system so without knowing the system directly i can apply kvl kirchhoff's voltage law but i cannot apply kcl okay so see here the moment voltage is known and the current is unknown we can apply kvl directly of course, there is a some indirect method in order to apply KCL in such a situation also. We will see later. Now, let us think of current source. 
let us think of current source. If I think of current source, of for example, one ampere, ideal independent current source, let me consider and let me connect resistance of one ohm, one ohm. Then same one ampere current has to flow because that is the ideal independent uh, current source. So voltage is going to be one volt. Now, if I change the system, let me change the system. If I change the system to maybe one milli ohm, if I change the system to one milli ohm, okay, one kilo ohm would be better. One kilo ohm, one kilo ohm or resistance. If I connect to the same system after removing the black, then how much it would be? Same one ampere should flow. So voltage across this is going to be one kilo volt. That is my point, right? Now for a current source, current is known. But voltage across the current source is unknown until and unless you know the connected system. Okay. Now let us think of applying KCL or KVL. Okay. If I think of KVL, if I want to apply KVL, I should know Kirchhoff's voltage law. Voltage rise equal to voltage drops or algebraic sum of voltage rise is equal to zero or algebraic sum of voltage drops equal to zero. Okay. Now point here is in order to apply KVL without knowing the connected system. Without, because this particular connected system may, may be of any big value, any big thing. Okay, so without knowing the loading effect on this particular uh, current source, how to find out voltage? We don't know. We don't know. Get me point, right? Now, if I want to apply KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, it is not direct. But if I want to apply KCL here, Kirchhoff's current law, current entering equal to one ampere directly. We know. So let me write here. Current is known because by depending upon this particular thing only, depending upon this particular thing only, later we are going to conclude which is better. Means KCL is better or KVL is better, or mesh analysis is better or nodal analysis is better. Once we connect soap or node, soap or mesh, everything will come. Means once you reach to that level and once you are able to compare, okay, between uh, mesh and nodal analysis, which analysis will give you results in a faster way, then 70% of networks is lower. Okay, now current source current is known. Current is known, but if you think of voltage across current source, voltage is unknown. Voltage is unknown. Okay, now let us compare which is better to apply KCL is direct, KVL is going to be indirect. Okay, KCL is going to be direct. Directly, we can apply. Directly not now, let us think of how to connect these two. Okay. How to connect these two for short circuit or open circuit? Okay. Now, what is short circuit? What is short circuit? Short circuit is going to be this. Okay. In short circuit. How much is the voltage across the short circuit? Voltage is going to be zero. How much current will flow? That will be decided by the connected system. Okay. Now, if you compare short circuit and voltage source, see here for a voltage source, voltage is specified, voltage is known. Current will vary. Now, see here how much current will flow. That current can be one ampere also or five ampere so that will be decided by the connected system connected system, but across the short circuit, what is voltage across the short circuit? Well, across the short circuit, voltage is zero, which is constant. You understand my point, right? Now, see here, for a voltage source, voltage is known, current is unknown. For a short circuit, voltage is known of zero volts, of zero volts, and uh, what about the current, current is? will be decided by the system. So, means the moment if I say short circuit, short because multiple times in uh, machines, multiple ways, uh, we have in multiple uh, sections of the syllabus, we are going to get that open circuit, short circuit. For example, in transformer OCSC test, in induction uh, block or water test, no load test. Okay. So, see here, short circuit is nothing but zero volts voltage source. Zero volts voltage source. Now, if you see, for example, in superposition, okay, in superposition theorem, what you are going to do, you have to deactivate the sources. 
Okay, we'll think about uh, dependent sources later, but uh, let me think about the independent sources first of all, because dependent sources we are about to end up. Right? Now, while superposition theorem, what is superposition theorem? If I have 10 sources, if I have 10 sources, and uh, whatever may be the response of these combined 10 sources in the system, you can get as independently take one system remaining nine, you please kill, take the response, and after that, kill remaining nine take the response, after that kill remaining 9, take the response and at the end all these responses has to be combined such that you are going to get the final response of these 10 sources. Okay. Now, for example, in your system, in your system, you are having 10 volts voltage source in the given system before applying superposition. Now, that particular voltage of 10 volts, of 10 volts has to be dragged down to 0 volts. Then only we can say 10 volts voltage source is being deactivated by bringing the 10 volts to 0 volts. What is that 0 volts voltage source is nothing but short circuit. That's why in superposition, that's why ah, in superposition, while applying superposition, voltage sources has to be deactivated, has to be killed by replacing them with short circuit. Okay, so I can. See here, this is going to be zero volts voltage source is nothing but short circuit. Obviously, you might have got the idea about open circuit. Now, if I think of open circuit, this is open circuit, right? In open circuit, across open circuit, how much will be the voltage? Who knows? That will be decided by the system. Okay, but what about the current uh, current magnitude going through it should be compulsorily zero amperes. Okay, means current flowing through open circuit should be zero amperes only. What does it mean? Meaning that current is constant, current is constant independent of voltage. Here voltage is constant at zero volts independent of current. Here current is constant at zero independent of voltage across this. Voltage across this. What does it mean? It should be zero amperes current source. Okay. So, current is constant at 0 amperes. That is what is uh, what is the definition of current source, right? Current should be known as specified. Obviously, means in our previous session, we discussed about the source definition also. Okay. Anyway, the moment it is 0 amperes, it is going to open circuit. 0 amperes, constant current, known current of 0 amperes, independent of voltage. How much will be the voltage? That will be decided by the system. Okay. Now, Coming to the point of, for example, I have one system. Let me see. Okay, I have one system. In that particular system, terminal response characteristics. Let me consider. This is current. This is voltage. Of some system, I don't know. Okay. After that, the response characteristic is like this. Okay, voltage current uh, characteristic of that particular system, physically existing system is given like this. Now, our focus is, our focus, our operating region, because uh, we discussed already, right, depending on the operating region, we are supposed to model. Now, if our operating region is this, okay, in this operating region only, I want to model this characteristic. How to model, how to model, for example, let me consider this as 10 amperes. 10 amperes. Okay. Now, independent of voltage, voltage may vary, but current is constant at 10 amperes in this particular operating region of interest. Then, how to model that? We have to model that with a current source of 10 amperes. 10 amperes. If you have only one characteristic, only voltage source or current source, independent sources kind of stuff will come. But if you have means uh, kind of many characteristics, okay, then dependent source concept will come. For example, I have one more characteristic like this. And this is collector current. This is collector to emitter voltage. And uh, this is for base value of current of, let me consider 10 milliamperes. Just like that. Okay. For base uh, current of 10 milliamperes, means, of course, this is my assumption, okay. Now, for 10 milliamperes, if it is giving out 10 amperes, and for base current, for base current of 5 milliamperes, it is giving 5 amperes. 
okay now if i want to model this characteristic in this particular region only for this characteristic it is going to be independent current source of an ampere if i want to model this particular characteristic in this particular region it is going to be 5 amperes right let me consider one more this is for the base current of 3 milliamperes for 3 milliamperes for example it is 3 amperes now for base current uh, for magnitude of base current of 3 milliamperes okay if the current is 3 amperes and if, if my focus is only this characteristic in this particular region only then i have to model with 3 amperes right now if i want to model all these three characteristics if i want to model all these three characteristics or some other characteristics say may come Okay, if there is region of characters, it is not single characteristic, region of characteristics if you want to uh, model, mathematically model, combinedly, what I can do is, it is going to be dependent source. The moment, uh, especially uh, B.Tech people, B.Tech studying students, uh, kind of uh, second year, third year guys, the moment they see kind of that particular symbol, people will be scared it is nothing like that it's ultimately it's current source only now in order to model all these kind of region of characteristics this is current source only and what is the output magnitude output magnitude will be decided by the base current or some other current okay if base current is 10 milliamperes output is going to be 10 amperes if base current is 5 milliamperes output current is going to be 5 amperes so what i'm going to write is 1000 IB. You got it? You got it? Now, what is the output current magnitude that will be depending or that will be controlled by base current? Okay. Now, this is going to become current control current source. If uh, current magnitude, base current magnitude are controlling variable and depending variable, if the controlling variable is uh, 5 milliamperes, it is going to be 5 amperes. If controlling variable is 10 milliamperes, it is going to be 10 amperes that way. Okay. Conclusion is very simple. The moment you see this symbol, don't get scared. It is okay. Means point here is very simple. It's current source only, but it's current source only. But output magnitude of current source will be decided by some other controlling variable that is current. Okay. Now see here. Dependent. And uh, one more thing we have to discuss, the active elements, kind of independent and dependent. Will they be linear? Because our uh, network theory is meant for linear, time invariant at least, or linear, lumped, passive, bilateral, causal, time invariant systems. But will these particular active sources become linear? No, the active sources cannot be linear. Why? You, you will come to know gradually. Okay, now if I think of dependent source, there are four types of dependent sources. Why can't we have other types of dependent sources also? I will tell you. Okay, whatever BJT, that BJT characteristics has shown that uh, my collector current magnitude is controlled by base current. So that is going to be current controlled current source or current dependent current source. Current controlled. Current source. Okay. And one thing you please remember this is ultimately a current source only. Whatever the things we are supposed we are supposed to follow for an independent voltage source or independent current source, everything is going to be same. In the sense, the moment it's a current controlled current source, ah, for a current source, application of KCL is direct, application of KVL is indirect. Okay. Now this is going to be some proportionality constant to I. Similarly, current control voltage source. Okay. Current control voltage source. This voltage source may be some proportionality constant. Current control voltage source. Right. Okay. Similarly, voltage controlled current source. Voltage controlled current source. Meaning that I will give you examples also. Because out of four, for three, everybody say that examples like BGT, FET, op amp. For fourth one, we have an example. Okay. Now, voltage controlled voltage source. So, ultimately, it's a voltage source controlled by 
some other voltage. Okay, now current control, current control, voltage control, voltage control. Now this is going to be voltage control, voltage source. Voltage control, voltage source. So this is going to be plus minus voltage control. So K4 into V. Now let us see the examples for this. Okay, let us see examples for this. See here, current control, current source already we have seen that is BGT. Everyone know that. Now, means uh, current control, voltage control, voltage source. Let me come from here. Voltage control, voltage source is operation amplifier. Depending upon the input voltage, output voltage will be decided. Okay, of course, in some regions. Now, voltage control, current source. It will be decided by the voltage and the output is going to be current. Now, let us think of current control, voltage source. Current control voltage source means that input should be current, output should be voltage. Because that magnitude of voltage should be decided by current. What is that? What is that? Mutual inductance. Okay. Because in mutual inductance, of course, basic idea already we have. In mutual inductance, if I have two coils, if I have two coils, some other system is connected here. And depending upon the current here, depending upon the current magnitude here, voltage will be induced in this particular coil. Okay, without having any electrical connection, some voltage can be induced here by varying some current here. That is called a mutual inductance. We will see at later point of time. Okay, now anyway, our uh, three targets: first is like uh, about voltage source, and second is in superposition, like uh, why we are replacing. Voltage sources with short circuit and current sources with open circuit. Now, third point is why dependent sources cannot be killed or cannot be deactivated in superposition. Superposition. Okay. See here, I'll give a basic idea. For example, I have one dependent source. I have one independent current source. Okay, now this is the system. Okay, let me take uh, one more voltage source. This is the system. This is the system. Now, see here, maybe this can be some 3 V, and that V is going to be this. In the sense, this is a voltage dependent voltage source, and this particular controlling variable is here. Controlling variable is here. Basically, about dependent source in multiple sessions in Thevenin's theorem, also uh, many people do some mistakes. Okay, anyway, uh, let me think of this 3V, 3V. Maybe let me think of this as 5 amperes and this is 10 volts. Now, observe. See here, this is 10 volts, right? Can it be deactivated? Yes, deactivate with short circuit. And uh, whatever may be the response from this 5 amperes, you can calculate. And after that, you activate this, deactivate this by open circuit, by open circuit, and uh, you can find the response. But in both cases, for example, if this is not there, for example, if this is not there, I'm deactivating this by open circuit. I deactivate it. I deactivate it. Okay, I deactivated this, I activated this. Under that condition, definitely some voltage will be there here, right? Depending upon that voltage, automatically it will be activated. Okay, so whenever you maintain 10 volts in uh, what do you say active state and 5 amperes in deactive state, deactivate state, or 5 amperes active and 10 volts deactivated, in both the cases, some controlling variable will be there. No? If that controlling variable is going to have some magnitude, automatically control source is going to have some magnitude automatically. So that's why while applying superposition, at any cost, dependent sources cannot be deactivated. Independent sources can be uh, yeah, deactivated. Okay. Yes. Thank you guys. We are going to start, we are going to meet in one more session. Thank you.